It's 10.30. Okay, can everyone please rise? And we'll start with a word of prayer. Okay, let's bow our heads. Dear Father, thank you for this um, beautiful morning that you've given us where we can just gather in this cozy room together and worship you as one family, Father. Give you all the glory and the praise you deserve. I pray that as we worship you now, we'll just, Father, give you our whole hearts and our whole souls. Father, help us to really look to you as we worship and to realize um, who's the one who gives us everything, Father, all our blessings. I pray that um, you'll help us to really humble ourselves before you and take this moment to realize just everything you've done in our lives and help us, let this be a moment where we can just repent before you and turn back to your love, Father. And through the hard times, I pray that you help us to also realize that nothing bad comes from you. So help us to always be able to just raise a hallelujah to you, Father, no matter what situation we're in. Amen. Okay, for this song, the bridge goes, sing a little louder. And what I say might be a little confusing, but it'll be up on the PowerPoint. We're going to sing it a total of eight times, okay? And we're going to have a sing-off with the brothers and sisters in this room. So the first time will be brothers, and the sisters will echo. And then the last four times will be the sisters starting and the brothers echoing. Okay, that might sound confusing, but it'll be up on the screen, so don't worry.
the Lord of all lords, the name that is above every name that has been given us on earth, in heavens, and other earth. Praise be to the Father, for Christ has defeated death. And our victory, we all can hope. Even in the most desperate situations, there will always be slimmers of hopes. There is whatever we cannot do with our own work, with our own effort. God can and He will accomplish. For every single promise that comes out of God, He will fulfill. For God never fails. So we here we are this morning. Remind us once again, Holy Spirit, that we are seen and we belong to you, Father God. That in us is the Spirit that cry out so dearly unto you, Abba Father, for we are your child, and you are no longer the God so distant and absent-minded, but you are the God that knows about every single little details of our life, and you care and provide for us. And you are always there for us, even though at times we do not acknowledge that you are there, and yet you are there. So we want to thank you this morning. We pray that our hearts will be open as we continue to grow in your words, to grow in our understanding of how much, just how much your love is for us, how deep and how high and how wide is your love for every single one of us. So thank you, Father God. Help us to rest in your presence simply trust you like a little child and rest in you in the name of Jesus we give thanks Amen Amen God is good